Hey guys, so I'm going to be starting to do this new oracle card readings and I've been thinking about it for a while and so recently it was the start of the first day of fall which was the autumn aquinex and today is a new moon so today is also a good day to do a reading so this reading is going to represent uh, labor season and also fall as well so I might be doing these weekly or monthly or just different during different time periods so if you like these uh, let me know in the comment selection what you want to see if you want to know any specific questions so for the first one I already did a pre setup here so as you can see there's four different groups okay so this one is going to be group number one group number two group number three and group number four so I shuffled four different cards in each group and I don't know I haven't looked at it yet so let's start with group number one okay so the first card that comes up for you is choice card this says you're in control of the choices set before you so I feel like within the next 30 days you're gonna be having to make this really important decision choice that you have to make and you've been thinking about it and it's been on your mind for a while and you're like I don't know what choice to make but whatever choice you do make it is going to be the right choice and the right decision so don't think that you made the wrong choice because you just have to listen to your heart and your intuition and you'll know how to make it okay so the second card that comes up is the daughter card this represents the feminine this could represent yourself or your daughter or a girl that you're interested in but when this card gets pulled it's definitely involving either yourself or another person so when we look sorry when we look at these two cards together this choice is going to either you have to make this choice on your own by yourself or this choice involves somebody else too so let's pull the third card and see what else get okay so the third card that comes up is patience so like I said before it's been on your mind for a while and you're not it's not meant to be rushed okay this decision this is the patience card it says be patient and the right timing is coming soon so once you make it just be patient patient and calm and gentle and it'll be the right timing when it's the right timing and like I said before I feel like this is happening within the next 30 days and so the last card for group number one is simplify your life so this all goes together because I feel like you've been stressed out lately and it says eliminate clutter from your home and work life to balance the flow of activities so by just de-stressing and simplifying your life you're gonna be working on what you want during this fall time so you'll have it figured out soon and this is all positive nothing negative coming up so let me know what your decision choice was and you will be happy and glad that you made it so that's for you group number one All right, group number two, you ready? First card that comes up is the discovery card. It says, behold the world with new eyes. So I feel from the start that you are on this life lesson growth journey so far, and you're trying to figure out yourself and what, where you see yourself and what you want to be doing. 
and you're open to new ideas. Alright, so the second card that comes up is the holiday card. And this means basically like, you know, holiday vacation time. So maybe I feel like, again, that you're stressed out as well. And that it's a good time, I think, to just take a break in a vacation, whether it's like a weekend getaway or a week-long trip to somewhere. It says the answer you're looking for can be found during a vacation retreat or holiday getaway. So the third card that comes up is says, you are not afraid. So you, you're definitely like a strong, courageous, brave person, but I feel maybe you've been feeling that you've been lacking those feelings lately. But even though you might feel like low at certain times, just don't forget, like say positive affirmations like every day, say that I am strong. So, like I was saying before, say positive affirmations every day if you don't feel like that. Because everybody has like low points and days where they don't feel like that. But again, just don't be afraid and face your fears and conquer yourself. And this like trip will get your mind refreshed and ready again to take on the world. And you might feel like so small right now compared to like this big giant but you're able to go put your foot feet forward and be a victory okay and then this last card that comes up is called make a wish it says this is a magical moment make a wish and enjoy its manifestation so this theme going on for you is just to take a break from your everyday life to get away for a little while refresh your mind and your body and what you're thinking about once you're ready then you can face those challenges and I feel like everything is going to be okay as well for you it's not going to be easy it's going to be like a little bit challenging and hard but as long as you can put in effort, it will be something that you can definitely, most definitely do. But it's going to take like a little bit of a slow time process. So it's not going to be super easy, but you definitely can handle it and you'll be able to do it. And it's something that you definitely want to do. So keep pushing forward and I feel that good things will come for you soon. So that's for group number two. So group number three. First card that comes up is the strength card. It says strength is born from the will of the heart. So again, this is a common theme where you are a really strong person as well. And if you've been lacking feeling strong or energy, it's, it's definitely going to come back to you. So don't worry. Just got to keep believing that you really are a strong person, okay? Second card comes up is be yourself. So these common themes, like I've been saying, is a lot of people need to be working on themselves these days. It says, this situation calls for you to be your authentic self, which is the basis for your personal power. So basically, don't let anybody like try to tell you what to do or who you are. Like you're the only one that knows who you are and what you want to be. So keep being that strong individual self and be proud. So the next card that comes up is lend a hand. I feel like you're a really caring, helpful person that really likes helping people. So this goes, this all goes hand in hand. Like you're a strong person and you care about other people. So just continue like doing that and helping people um, if, if somebody asks for help. But it's also about give and take as well. Like you can ask for help as well. Like don't be afraid 
to ask for help because a lot of people are scared to ask for help, but they have no problem helping other people. But you gotta help yourself too. And then the last card that comes up is the alchemy card. And it says, you have the Midas touch right now and every project you begin turns to gold. So basically that can involve money and good luck and prosperity. So I feel like you're a really good person and good luck is coming your way. You just got to believe in yourself and I feel like this involves other people too in your life. And there's good projects coming your way, and I feel like this could involve a job, if you've been looking for a job. But I feel like a money boost is going to happen for you too. So that's a little bit for group number three. So last, but not least, group number four. upside down. Okay, so this is the transformation card. It says, the process of self-transformation will open your eyes to the timeless truth of yourself. So this, again, is about yourself and you're transforming into this new powerful person that you want to be and it's, you're evolving but not losing touch of who you truly are at the same time. You just want to better yourself. Second card that comes up for you is the perfect timing card. It says, this is the right time for you to move forward. So this goes hand in hand with each other. It's like kind of like how a caterpillar turns into a butterfly where maybe you weren't ready at the beginning stages, but now you are ready. And it says it is the perfect time and you are ready. Third card comes up. It says give yourself the best because you definitely deserve this. You deserve the best and you will be treated well with it can be money or it could be material items, clothes, food, just like indulging yourself but just don't forget just not to like overindulge because that's kind of bad but go on like a shopping spree just do something that will make you happy like have like a spa day or something and then the last card that comes up is the healing heart card it says you're a powerful healer keep up the good great work so I feel like you're a really emotional person and I feel like you do have a big heart and you let your heart make the decisions because some people are heart heart people and some people are head people and you're definitely a heart person and what that means is that like I said you feel like with your heart and you tend to like be emotional and you're a heartwarming, you're a caring, loving, nurturing person, but I feel as well that you might have been hurt in the past too and you're still kind of like healing from that past um, because maybe I feel you might have some trust issues on letting people in or getting close to you, but I feel like this could involve, you tend to might think of the past a lot but you really have to focus on the present right now and not so much on the past because even though you might have been hurt in the past you are transforming and growing into this new person so don't let the past affect the, f the present and you deserve more and again don't let others treat you like badly or sadly you need to let people treat you with the utmost respect and love because you deserve it and you will find that love again okay I also feel like let people in again 
So just be careful and take things slow, okay? You don't need to like rush into things. And like I said, you'll be able to love and trust people again. So just give it time and you'll know when you're ready again too. So hopefully that helps you out a little bit to know what's coming up in the next month for you. Also, I just want to say, don't forget that <clears throat> September is National uh, Suicide Awareness Month, and it's also National Cancer Awareness Month. So a lot of these were like really similar on dealing with one's self and growth and just transforming into a new, better person and working on your future future goals nothing negative came up for anybody which is really good so keep striving towards the future and doing good work and i would definitely see you next time again don't forget to like comment subscribe and tell me what you want to see and i will be doing different setup angles so stay tuned and thank you